I went looking for knowledge management software and I happened to stumble upon Nasion. Today I'm going to give you a full, in-depth, honest review of the software and you can then make a decision for yourself as to whether it is a good decision to use or not. So without further ado, let's check them out. We're having a look at Cian now, and Cian delivers open source knowledge management with privacy at its cornerstone. It's available across any system you can think of. It emphasizes bidirectional linking between notes, and it also has a block level organization for modular content, and it has complete data ownership and privacy control. So it's really, really awesome. It's got all the latest, coolest features, but it is also emphasizing privacy and control. You can see over here, it has block editing. Um, this allows you to organize notes as modular blocks. You can rearrange, reference, and embed blocks anywhere in your knowledge base. You can create connections between notes with links. You can view all references to any notes with backlink panels. It has markdown support, so you can write in markdown with live preview. You can export it to multiple formats while preserving formatting and links. And it's got local storage, so you can keep all of your data on your device. There's no mandatory cloud storage, which it does include um, privacy and control, which is always great. You do have the option, though, to sync between devices. You're going to have a look at some of the use cases now. Advanced note takers can create Zettelkasten and systems. It has ideas, links, which um, helps you link together, forming interconnected webs of knowledge. You can research, organize findings with nested blocks. You can also cross-reference connected or related concepts across your projects. It also works very well with technical documentation, so you developers can actually manage code snippets and more technical notes. It is a great tool for a wide range of different people. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. As always, the takeaway here is to go and use it for yourself and see if it works for you. If this video was helpful, you can go ahead and drop us a like to show your support. I will see you next time.